don't let the cops notice you. If they come after us, we call it off. So, my taciturn friends, I suppose you want to know how we're doing this. Well, funny you should ask. We're driving out to the bank, taking a look at it, picking up some equipment, and then heading back to make our plans. Not very complex at all. We're not going in, we're not poking it with a stick. We're just sitting back and taking a look. You see, uh, I like my scores, like I like my dates. Across the street and unaware they're being watched. <laughs> all right, so why this bank over all the other banks in the state? Why does fortune favor this one? Hmm? Another good question. Full of good questions. You're like a child whose parents think it's clever, or the IRS. Well, this bank's got some safety deposit boxes, and in one of those safety deposit boxes are some bonds being hidden from the tax man that no one's gonna report missing. All starting to, uh, make sense. Security should be light, well, relatively light. Light if your daydreams are raids on the Union Depository. Quite heavy if your day job is turning over... Your day job is turning over liquor stores and gas stations. And the bonds in the box will be worth more than a few rumpled notes from a till, so a minor escalation is worth it. Shit! Handle it. Plus, you know, the sea view. <laughs> Nothing like staring at the ocean while you contemplate money and power, incarceration, and homicide. Yeah, all those weighty issues surrounding your first foray into serious armed robbery. I'm assuming you're kind of a cerebral crew, because otherwise this whole not talking deal just kind of puts you on the spectrum, right? <laughs> okay, well, how about we just get there and see where we're at? What are we looking at? Um, small joint, not much security. Staff won't give a crap, <laughs> especially about the deposit boxes. Customers will probably be thinking uh, how to turn this into a screenplay. <laughs> the boxes are in the back behind the safe door. We want box number 167. Yeah, it's right on the highway with good access. That works for you. Get out quick, but it'll also work for the cops. Speed up their response time. Hey? Okay. Enough of this peeper crap. Let's go to the garment factory. Now, when you hit the bank, you're gonna need to hack into its security system. I've written a neat little program that'll do most of the work for you, but it's probably a good idea for you to familiarize yourselves with it. You, in the passenger seat, I've sent it to your phone. Now take it for a dry run, keep your hands steady, and maybe the wet run won't be a disaster. Paige, she's my assistant. Jesus First she's gonna get us what we need, then she's gonna sell me in half. <laughs> no? Didn't like that one? Uh, you don't make it easy. Paige, it's Lester. The place looked good. Nothing we weren't expecting. Can you get the intel together? Hard copies to go on a notice board. Yeah, plus all the equipment we spoke about. I'll be over to collect it with the, those people. Yeah. Mm, charming as ever. Okay, see you soon. She's loading the hardware into the back of a truck. Tools for the job, things for you to wear. On a job, your attire will depend on the role you're performing. As a job gets more complicated, so will the uniforms. If you're likely to be seen by civilians, you'll be provided with a couple of masks. Then, when you go to the bank, you can choose one that uh, goes with your eyes. <laughs> and hey, there's the added bonus of none of your favorite comic convention outfits being linked to you. Come on, back to your place. Is it all there? I think so. You want to get out and check, go down the inventory? Or are you happy sitting there making a perfect butt imprint in your easy wipe seat? I'll take your word for it. Thank you. It should all be there. The clothes, 
Guns, headsets, hold alls, masks, the drill. The files with all the photos and surveillance work. Hey, there's enough here to make us all look real suspicious. Nice little conspiracy to thing to happen. What, they're gonna charge us with thought crime? Not so much thought as everything but the deed crime. We'd be caught with our pants down and a hard on out to here. Well, we're not getting caught. These are professionals. So I hear. The cheapest professionals money can buy. I like to think of it as investing in new talent. <laughs> and until you and me start playing low-rent Bonnie and Clyde, that's the way it's got to be. She didn't mean anything by that, by the way. Uh, she's just a little brusque. If they were offended, they would have said something. Korean town stick-up crew's been using a parking lot as a base for scores. They're into extortion, uh, credit fraud, stolen cars, and some uh, mini major robberies. I'd expect them to be packing, and I'd expect them to be paranoid. Come to think of it, you won't find a bulletproof car in the hands of anyone who doesn't have a healthy dose of paranoia. So be careful. or gangsters or whoever you've got coming after you and bring it to my garment factory. You remember what I said about car damage? Good. And try not to damage the car too much. You can't rob a bank in a wrecked car.